it's time to talk about the components. With Nuxt 3, we got a feature called auto import, which basically means that every component are available everywhere in the application because it's auto imported. So if we look at the documentation, it's written that most components are reusable piece of user interface, okay? And you can create these components in the components directory and they will be automatically available across your application without having to explicitly import them. So previously on uh, Vue.js, what we were supposed to do is to, every time we need the component, to import it everywhere we need it. We can also go on the main.js file and say actually to the view application to use the component and we can import it everywhere also. It's a kind of auto import. However, with Nuxt, we don't need to do all of this. And that's really amazing because we save a lot of time. So we are going to create a uh, folder and here I'm going to close all of this. We are going to create a folder uh, called components. Okay, components. And here inside this uh, folder, I'm going to create a first component called alert.view, okay? And this component is basically taking a div. This is an alert uh, component, okay? I'm going to add some style to it. So it's going to be a BG uh, green 500. It's going to be rounded, PX2, PY1, and text Y, there we go. And maybe a, a bit of margin button. All right, we've got this component and right now we've got our app running there, an index page. I put the, the background in black to have a bit of more effect. And now I want to use this component alert in my index page. So I go on my index page and what we used to do before is to go to script and then we would say basically import alert from blah, blah, blah. We don't need to do that anymore we can directly say, hey, here I want my component alert. Let's get back to the app and suddenly we've got our component available. And that's, that's amazing. That's why I love Nuxt. With Nuxt, we save time. So how does it work? Basically, it works like exactly pages with the file routing system. It's based on the name of the file and it's based on the level of the current file. So if I create another component, let's say that it's going to be header.view and here I'm going to type this setup and I'm going to put header here. If I go to my app.view and on top of that, I'm going to type header because it's the name of the file what's going to happen is that it's going to look for header as a component, as the file coming from the folder component. So you have to create this folder component to tell Nuxt, hey, um, I'm looking for a component and this component is supposed to be in the component folder. So the component directory is playing a very important role in the Nuxt application. It's just the, the, the place where you're going to put all your interface pieces. So if we want to create a deeper component tree, actually, what we could do here is to create, for instance, let's create a folder and profile. And in there, what I can do is to type also index.view. I'm going to type profile component. I'm going to close all of this and get back into my index.view. And down there, I'm going to type profile. And when I'm going to type profile here, it will understand that he has to look for the uh, profile and here he found a folder and then index.view. So he understand that it is the profile component. Let's say that in my profile component, I have another folder and this folder would be header again. So we would have an index.view there. And again, it's going to be profile header. How can I import this header here inside my index? What you have got to do is to come from the parent to the children. So we've got profile at first, so I'm, I'm going to type profile. Then I'm going to type header because my component is supposed to be in the header uh, folder. So from component, I want to look to profile. Then I want to look to header and inside header, I got this index.view. So I'm going to type profile header. And if I get back to the app, there we go. It is working. I got my profile header. So to give uh, a deeper understanding of it, 
I'm going to say that here it's going to be uh, the main page. Now I'm going to open my console and inside my console, I'm going to inspect and look at this. I got a first div, which is ID next. And inside of it, I got the root of my application. And what do I got? I got a div called header. We already uh, imported it, but we didn't put the class header. So if I go there and I put the class header, we will understand that this is the header we are talking about. Okay, header. And then we got the main page. Because remember in app, we have got the header, then we supposed to have the current page display. So we've got actually main, and then we've got our alert. So we didn't put alert, but if I go there and I put alert, it will work this way, alert, there we go. So we got the alert component, then we got the profile, and then we got the profile header. So you can go really deep like this. You can go really deep by creating component this way. And let's say that in my header, I would have an avatar.view, okay? Here, I'm going to put class. And again, here on, on, on VS Code, I got the pass, profile, header, avatar. It really helped me to create my current component. So it's going to be profile, header, avatar. And actually, it's going to be avatar of profile header. I'm going to save. And now I want to import this avatar inside my uh, profile. What can I do? Well, actually, it, it works exactly the same everywhere. Depending on where you are, you just need to always start by the component root. So here, what is the component I want to import? The component I want to import, it's avatar from header from profile. So I need to start by profile. Then I need to look to header. Then I need to look to avatar. And this is the component that has been created previously. We, I went to profile, then header, then avatar, and I've created this profile header avatar. And when I get back to the app, there we go. I got my uh, profile avatar just after inside the profile header. It's a bit confusing when you got a lot of files like this. If I go to my index page, which is supposed to have profile, and I remove this, I got nothing. And if I want to use the avatar that is in the profile header avatar, what I can type, it's always the same. I can always import all those elements depending on their root. In this example, I made in purpose something complicated. I created several folders with several files inside because I wanted to show you that you can go from uh, a simple organization to a complicated organization and to retrieve actually the path of the component because you are not importing them anymore and you are using the auto import feature of Nuxt, you will need to understand how to catch those levels. And the easiest way, as I said to you, is to come from the parent then going to the children until the element you want to catch. What we notice with Nux3 and the components, it's that this system helps us to not importing everywhere our components. And it gives us also the ability to um, call components everywhere we want dynamically. However, be safe. When you are creating your components architecture, try to be simple, try to be easy. Do not create really deep folder and deep files because Otherwise, you will have very long name at the end. If we get back there, for instance, we got a profile header avatar. It's a very long name, okay? You don't want at the end to have very, very long name because the readability and the developer experience will decrease. So this system is good. Next uh, made something great with this auto import. However, be careful on the usage. 